Teddy, so glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds among heavyweights, and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Eddie Chambers, his ring walk, just a cool, calm stride to him. Looks like just another day in his life. Butterbean's making that final walk that separates man and warrior, soon to be in battle there in the ring. In the blue corner, hailing out of Philadelphia, Fast Eddie Chambers. And he's a bullet across the ring, coming out of Bay City, Eric Butterdee All right, fellas, let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. And now they get it. Round one underway. Very accurate two-punch combo by Eddie Chambers. Commits to the straight right. Butterbean's left, landing well. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. We are underway here, and we've heard from everybody that speed is going to be the big factor. Eddie Chambers has got it. Plenty of it. Yeah, now it's up to his opponent to come up with something. Maybe go to the body, take it away, slow him down. Sharp three punches landing by Eddie Chambers. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times you could say when you're coming there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Well, and that's exactly what he deserves. The ref getting involved, warning him for the headbutt. Eddie Chambers, combination punching, working out well there. He landed three solid shots. Big, big shot he just scored with. Unable to survive that shot. He's on the floor. <laughs> Somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Eddie Chambers. Look at that. The hook came home with ease. Come on. Well off the mark by Eddie Chambers. Good flush shot upstairs. Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see this fight going the distance with this pace. No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. Putting his punches together, good combination by Eddie Chambers. Good looking counter punch. He tried to. Oh, and there you go. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Three, four. Wow, saved by the bell. That's like something out of a movie here. Yeah, except nobody's coming in there and saying cut. You know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got flashballs going off in his head. Keep circling. Don't stand in front of him. Please. I'm not going to stand here. Butterbean's got to rely on his corner now to do what it takes 
to get him back physically and mentally. It's always a challenge when you've hit the ground. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Eddie Chambers is at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Fine looking right hand by Eddie Chambers. Crafty counter punching. Oh boy, big shot up top. There's that overhand right. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Eddie Chamber. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes the tone of him. Butterbean so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. He scores with the left. Chambers is proving to be elusive. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Eddie Chambers. Butterbean's able to land a good, solid left hand. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Final 10 seconds. Here he brings the jab right hand. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. End of this round, Joe and Teddy sitting ringside with you. It gives us time to reflect on the bigger picture of boxing. You know, it was interesting, we had a fan walk up to you earlier today and say, hey, I know you learned everything from the legendary Cus D'Amato, the great trainer. And he said to you, what's the one thing you took away from all your years with Cus? What did you say to him? Well, it wasn't a paycheck, I'll tell you that much, because Cus didn't believe in paying you for that. He said you're going to college, you're getting a valuable uh, education, and you're not even being forced to pay a tuition. So I understood that. We worked seven days a week, so there was no union. Uh, Cus believed in working on Sundays, so you couldn't go complain and say I'm being overworked. But I think seriously that the most important thing that I learned, of course, that from a technical standpoint, you have to be really secure in those areas. No matter how much talent a fighter has, you have to teach them right, teach them the fundamentals, but mentally. You have to understand that a fighter's really always under fear. And you have to understand those dimensions, those parameters. And you have to be able to find a way. Eddie Chambers is losing a point here. One point away he headbutted over here. again. The one referee's seen enough. He's taken away a point. What an excellent two-punch combo by Eddie Chambers. He scored well after being hit himself. Eddie Chambers' work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? A huge right hand from Eddie Chambers. Scored well up top. There he goes with the right hand again. Well, now he's got to be careful. He's been warned for the low blow. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. Parries that punch intended for the head. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Eddie Chambers. And now he's targeting upstairs. Butterbean's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Eddie Chambers is showing you what it nice. takes to be the best nice. in this business. Good, crisp combos. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Right. Keep your range. Jab, jab, right. Okay. 
three rounds in the books here, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Butterbean's got to find that one thing that will separate him from his opponent so far because it's an even fight. And I think that one thing is to jab because on the outside, just a little bit too often, they're both playing the game a little bit like, you leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. If, if somebody just decides to use the jab in those dead spots, they're going to separate themselves. Good job on the two-punch combo by Eddie Chambers. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Hits him in the mug with the right. Scores big with the hook to the head. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Eddie Chambers' combination punching is working well here. 